Hey, welcome back to Business Morning. Uh, we've been joined uh, in the studio by Mr. Masood Balogu. He is the head legal and regulatory services at Lotus Capital. So talking of uh, the Islamic financing. Good morning and thank you for coming. Good morning. Um, thank you for having me. All right. Let, let's take a cue from what um, the SSC representative talked about earlier on just before we went on break. How much of financial inclusion have you been able to achieve as an operator in the Islamic finance space? Um, as an operator in the Islamic finance space, uh, I would say um, we've been able to achieve significant uh, penetration um, in the uh, in the uh, uh, in the financial markets through um, our product launching. So, uh, for example, when uh, 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 the ethical the first ethical fund in Nigeria was launched sometime in 2008, uh, there was a lot of uptake from people in the uh, north, northeast part of Nigeria. And uh, those are people that ordinarily are not in the financial system. Okay. So by uh, giving them a product, that, uh, or an investable product, we're able to bring them into the, into the uh, financial market. Also, uh, um, when, uh, when Sukuk was uh, launched by uh, was issued by the Osho State Government in 2013. There was, all, uh, apart from the fact that uh, uh, conventional investors invested, also ethical investors like uh, individuals, insurance, ethical insurance companies, and uh, uh, and uh, ethical capital market op uh, participants or operator also invested in the in the Sukuk. So these are assets that will have been otherwise uninvested and will be out of the system. So by uh, by launching investable products for uh, uh, participants that de desire ethical investment, uh, we were able to bring uh, a number of uh, investors into the financial markets. Okay, you talked about one of the state governments actually uh, having to raise Sukuk. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, get used to that word, Sukuk. And do you by any way having to you know, monitor how this money has been spent? as an operator in the market, do you think there's anything that enables you to say, okay, this money is, has to be spent ethically? Do you have such framework that helps you in that respect? Um, as a regulator, um, we, our scope for mo uh, uh, monitoring is very limited okay. uh, because um, um, the, regu the operator we usually promote the product in the market okay. and raise the, uh, the required capital for um, uh, for the uh, for the issuer. So thereafter, the uh, the burden shifts more or less to uh, what you call the trustees when you have a sukuk. So you have a trustees who are who are supposed to represent the to be representing the interest of bondholders or sukuk holders to ensure that the project that it's uh, uh, that is meant for that the capital was raised for was is actually executed so uh, on and on or on and off we hear uh, we have interaction with the issuers to give them the necessary guidance and what have you but in terms of actually um, monitoring what has actually been done it's uh, we have as an operator we have limited scope in that regard mm, okay do, do you operators have enough products because one of the things that i understand that you do is to ensure that you attract as many people as possible both though uh, both those who are into conventional uh, finance and those who want to do ethical but do you have enough products to sell to nigerians to attract them to be part of the islamic financing um, I, I would say there, there is um, sufficient products, uh, but of course there are a lot of products that can be developed because when you're talking about this industry, you're talking about innovation and creativity. There are a number of areas of products that could still be developed, but there are enough products in the market. You have, a, a, you have bond, that's the Sukuk. You have an a exchange traded fund. Uh, you have mutual funds. Uh, you have uh, um, uh, insurance products. Are Nigerians well. really taking advantage of this uh, uh, mode? Y yes, but uh, I would say I would say yes. And uh, but of course, the it's a new product in the market. Relatively, uh, a lot of promotion and awareness still needs to be done so that uh, um, uh, the market can take advantage of the product uh, to the uh, uh, to the best. But. Uh, in terms of the uh, level of uptake, I would say that it is encouraging. And it, it, I, I've mentioned uh, the, the number of the 
different kinds of products that suits the different kind of investors in the market. So, for example, anyone that is in, uh, interested in, uh, in, in investing in equity products can invest in the ETF. So there is a, uh, a compliance ETF in the market. Anybody that is in, in, uh, interested in mutual fund can also invest in a mutual fund. Uh, there, there are a number of uh, uh, mutual funds in the market. Uh, anybody that is also interested in investing in fixed income products, there are also compliant fixed income products in the market. So their are, are array of products in the market is, uh, uh, that, that, is, uh, av that are available for uh, anyone that is interested in, uh, 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 in pursuing that line of investment. How much does it take to invest? In, because you said a lot of things right now. Does it take so much? For those of our listeners who would want to be part of it, for instance, how do you think they can go about it? And how much does it take for an investor, at least the least amount, required to go into any of this oh, okay for example i'll talk about if uh, the lotus halal uh, um, uh halal fund you can invest with as little as five thousand naira you can invest uh in in, in, um, in the product so there are also area of products that are um, uh, um that are in the market mm -hmm. uh, it's not a significant amount of money, money. with minimum uh, amount of money one can invest in the uh, uh, in that space okay. so as just the same way it takes in the conventional product if you have um, there are products for low income earners, mid income earners, and high income earners. The same thing, though, uh, uh, the same thing has been replicated in that space as well. So, for micro investment, there are investable products that are available that Nigerians can uh, take advantage of. So, it's not of. only for the state government? No, not at all. Big players? Well, the state government Who can are the crowd suppliers. out every other person? No, no, no. The state government are the, uh, of, uh, for example, for the Sukuk, the state government are the suppliers. But for uh, the, the buyers, you can have anybody investing through their various uh, uh, um, advisors and, uh, and what have you. Okay, thank you so much, Mr. Masood Balogu, Head Legal and Regulatory Services at Lotus Capital. Thank you so much for coming on the thank program. Thank you for having me. You do appreciate the time. Thank you.